In this lesson, we'll cover the basic principles of property management in the housing market. As you listen to this lesson, remember that each state has a unique set of laws that govern property management services. Usually, a license is required if a property manager leases real estate or collects rent owned by a private party or a business or government entity. You may need a state-approved real estate license or other special credentials to start a property management company or work for an established firm. Some counties and municipalities within individual states have their own set of statutes and license requirements, specifically designed around long-term planning strategies. Having said that, let's talk about the role of property management in the real estate industry starting with property manager functions and responsibilities. The Bureau of Labor Management reported there were 313,800 property manager jobs in the United States in 2014, and the agency expected that field to grow about 8%, adding approximately 25,000 jobs over the next decade. The jobs are held by people with degrees and professional credentials, as well as people who only list a high school diploma and a few years in real estate-related fields on their resumes. Although advanced education provides a definite career advantage in this competitive sector. Many of these jobs are on-site positions where the manager resides in a managed apartment complex or commutes daily from a private residence nearby and assumes responsibility for showing apartments, leasing units, marketing vacancies, maintaining financial records, solving tenant complaints and maintenance issues, and collecting rent. An on-site manager typically works for a management company. Approximately 125,520 people are self-employed. Self-employed property managers are more likely to work directly with property owners than for an outside management firm. They may do the landscaping and maintenance themselves or hire outside contractors. Whether the manager works for himself or for a large corporation, the primary role is to keep the property value intact and attract and retain highly qualified tenants, which protects the owner's assets. This career sounds fairly straightforward and simple, but at times, Managing properties is about as easy as juggling two 10-pound bowling balls and a twisty straw. One reason for this is that property management comes in many flavors, each with its own set of responsibilities. Investors and owners seek management services to oversee their income-producing properties. Managers may be asked to negotiate commercial leases for space in a retail mall. Vet mechanics and contractors to maintain equipment in an industrial complex, or screen tenants for residential housing. Each of these different scenarios requires exceptional written and verbal communication skills. Whether a property manager develops a niche business plan focused on a single piece of property, or decides to offer services to owners with a full portfolio, the marketing aspect often presents challenges for first-time managers. Advertising a piece of property for lease is more complex than simply posting a vacancy notice. Some states require rates be posted based on per-square-foot pricing. The actual wording in an ad must truthfully represent the property and comply with non-discrimination policies. And pricing must be competitive without sacrificing owner revenue expectations. Phew, that is a lot to expect from a few words. In our digitally driven marketplace, it is crucial to monitor comps. Many successful property management companies today use cloud-based software that monitors regional pricing and availability in real time. Finding a system that is user-friendly and affordable is imperative. The challenge is finding the time to research these solutions when tenants are scheduling walkthrough appointments and owners are calling to discuss revenue and expense statements. Fortunately, there are some really good software options out there today 
that allow property managers to automate routine office tasks, freeing up more time for dealing directly with clients. And then there are a myriad of laws, rules, and regulations to protect consumers from discrimination, fraud, unsupported eviction, and illegal deposit retention. Leases and tenant screening are two areas that deserve a mention here. Rather than creating standardized leases for each property, some managers prefer to hire a real estate lawyer to draft a lease for each new commercial or industrial tenant. This is advisable, unless the manager also holds a law degree. As far as residential leases, it is possible to create a fillable PDF or online mobile lease that works for all tenants in a certain type of property. Everyone in the same apartment community would typically receive the exact attachments, such as the mold statement, bed bug and radon disclosures, delinquency policy, online privacy plan, and so forth. Electronic screening is convenient and cost-effective. However, rigorous security measures must be implemented to protect identity. A property manager performs property management functions, which may include accounting, marketing, maintenance, staffing, tenant screenings, negotiating vendor contracts, collecting deposits and rents, communicating with tenants, investors and owners, offering financial advice, and even helping owners consider niche markets for their properties. It is an exciting and rewarding career for the right individual.